Hey, what's up, everybody? Too Tall Toby here. And in today's beginners on shape tutorial slash speed run, we're going to do a challenge found here at twotalltoby.com in the practice models app. So you can see here that this app has a repository of over 100 challenges. Can you take a 2D drawing and turn it into a 3D model using any 3D CAD system? and come up with the correct mess of that model. We've got about 20 models in here that are free for any users who have a free account at twotalltoby.com. And then if you really like the app, you can sign up for the premium membership and get access to the entire library of these challenges. And one of these challenges that's found here in the batch of free challenges is this one here, challenge number four. And we can see here that I've already completed this challenge. When I completed this challenge, I came up with a time of three minutes and 53 seconds. And I think I could actually do it a little bit faster than that. Now, if we if we scroll up to the top here, we can see that 863 people have successfully completed this challenge. And we can see that the average time amongst them was nine minutes and one second. My my time was 3 minutes 53 seconds. I think I can do it a little bit faster. So I'm going to try this challenge again today using Onshape. So if that sounds good to you, and if you like some good old fashioned speed modeling, be sure to hit the like button and let me know down in the comments if you learn any cool tips and tricks from this speed run. So let me click this try again button. And once I click reveal drawing, the drawing is going to be revealed and the clock is going to begin. So let me bring up that clock overlay. And here we go. Reveal drawing, let's go. I'm gonna move this over to my second screen and let's jump into Onshape here. I'm gonna say create document and I'm gonna call this 24-01-04-C clamp base. And that way, if any of you wanna look for that file, it's right there in the public space. I'm gonna choose the front plane, right mouse button, new sketch. I'm gonna press N to get normal two. And then I'm gonna press the S key and jump into the line command. And I'm gonna create a line that comes over here to a distance of 98 millimeters, the max length of that lower section of the part. I'm gonna create a line that comes up here to the center of that circular boss shape, a line that comes over here to a width of 14 a line that comes down. I'm not sure how far a line that comes over a line that comes back up here kind of in line with this first one. I'll kind of like wake up that point to get that horizontal relationship. And then I'll come over this way directly above that original point. And when I click, I can then let go of my mouse and I can type in 16. And Onshape does a nice job of kind of pushing over that line that's on the that's on the left there. And then I'll come down and close off that sketch. One more dimension here. So S key dimension from this line down to here. And that is going to be 16 millimeters. Now we can jump into the fill it command and we can say that we want to create a fillet here on this edge with a radius here you can double click on the radius a radius of seven and that's also going to go here on this this point so just enter and then down here if i click on this point i can double click on that radius and i can make that 20 and then i can also apply that radius down here on this point so now that we've got that first shape we can s key extrude i have customized my s key menu to make some of these workflows a little bit faster i think it's a great idea uh, so i'm going to choose extrude here and then i'm going to press tab, tab, tab. I'm going to type in the depth here, which is 18. Tab, tab, tab. And I'm going to press the space bar to enable symmetric. And once I've got that, I can press enter. And that finishes that command and gives me a nice mid plane or a symmetric extrusion. So now I can come over here to this face, S key, begin a new sketch, S key circle. And then I can choose to create a circle here right at the midpoint, right over here to this vertex. No dimensions needed. S key extrude. And that's going to go up to a face. And that face is going to be this face here. Enter to finish that one. And then I'm basically just going to do the same thing here. Pick this face, S key, begin a sketch, S key circle. I'm going to drop in a circle here on this face. Hook it into this point over here, S key extrude. This time it's going to go out to a depth. So tab, 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 25. And then I'll reverse the direction on that to finish out that command. And so now our final sketch here is just going to be another sketch of a circle. So wake up the center point and we're going to drop that circle in there at eight. And we're going to say S key extrude. This is going to be a remove and it's going to go up to next and hit the check mark. And there we go, the final spin, that looks pretty good. I can press P to hide all those planes. If I wanted to, I could right mouse button down here on the name of the part and choose edit appearance and make it match the appearance from the customer. And then I could right mouse button on that part again and say assign material. And that material is gonna come from the TTT custom materials library. And it's gonna be plain carbon steel. And we hit the green check mark and then down here, kind of behind the clock, we've got the mass properties button. So we click mass properties, click on that body, 308.2. So 308.2, enter. And oh yeah, we get that purple box. 
That's what we like to see. That purple box means that we got it right. So let's see here what this says. It says, congratulations, the answer is correct, but you already knew that as you have completed this practice model before. It is true. Although I didn't know what the answer was. I have completed the practice model before. And so it looks like last time I did it, I did it in a time of three minutes and 53 seconds. And that's going to be replaced by this three minutes and 11 times. So I did it. I got a little bit faster by doing this practice model a second time. So that is a pretty cool run. And if you you guys enjoyed that run be sure to hit the like button on this video i'm gonna submit this time here and there we go now that new time has been updated my time has been updated to three minutes and 11 seconds and uh wow it looks like i'm actually right here right around the top five percentile for this one so pretty speedy in this one going pretty fast on this one so guys i hope you enjoyed that video if you did be sure to hit the like button on the video be sure to let me know down in the comments if you learned any cool new tips and tricks from watching this tutorial and of course be sure to try out that practice models app over at twotalltoby.com it's a lot of fun to practice and then practice again and try to get faster and i'll look forward to seeing all of you in the next video